Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuro, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Polka Aqua 3. Here we are in Tree Hill. Last time we found some legendary Pokemon. We also picked up this egg. Um, this time we are going to look for some more legendary Pokemon, but first, let's go actually check out the game corner. Since last time I did do a little bit of uh, roulette and slot machines, so we can go get some prizes. So, this person will give you Venusaur doll, Charizard doll, Blastoise doll. Um, if you want to get these early game, this is the, I guess, the way to pretty much do it, but you can pretty much buy them for actual, like, money in, um, in Mr. Gold Shop in Storybrooke, so it's really unnecessary to get them here. But this person's the more interesting one. So, she will offer you actual Pokémon for coins. Uh, it costs you 2,500 for an Apom, 5,000 for a Stuffle, 6,000 for a Carbink, 7,000 for a Gratini, and 8,000 for a Porygon. Now, Apom is the cheapest and easiest one to get, but you can find Apom pretty easily in the wild. Uh, Stuffle, they're, once again, not too difficult to find in the wild, so Apom and Stuffle, there's really no real reason to try to go after. Porygon you can sort of find in the wild, especially post-game, but they're kind of rare, so and if you want to get one early game, this would be the way to do it. It just, you're going to need a lot of coins. Uh, it's not maximum coins, but still a lot of coins nonetheless. Dratini, um, well, if you want a Dratini early or game, then this would be the way to do it. Uh, it's not too uncommon in the wild in the post-game or even late game, but... Uh, there is a reason why you might want to go after that, but uh, from here, but I'll talk about that later on. Carbink, however, now that's the that's the, the main thing you want to get here. Um, you certainly want to get here, because Carbink cannot be obtained elsewhere in the game. This is the way to get Carbink. So, we're going to go get a Carbink. So, we obtained a Carbink. Now, one thing to note, our party is full, so it's automatically going to get sent to the PC. When you get a Pokemon here, you can't nickname it. You can nickname it at the Name Raider, but you can't nickname them upon receiving them. And, oh! We have an egg hatching. Okay, the egg is finally hatching! Alright. <gasps> it's shiny! We got a shiny Manaphy. Alright, I'm gonna call you... Prince. We got a shiny Manaphy. Let's go! Now, if you want to get a Fiona, you can just breed your Manaphy with a Ditto. Um, there's... I mean, you can get Ditto pretty easily, honestly. So, they're like, right in the New View Tunnel, which is not far from the daycare center. So there's nothing too crazy about that. Besides, we have a Ditto. We could do that. I'm not going to bother with that right now. I'm going to add Who back to the team, though. And here is our Carbink. Uh, Carbink's a pretty cool Pokemon. Um, you do need to... In, now, the thing is... I did, spe I did specifically get this Carbink for a reason, though. Uh, I mean, yes, Carbink is... Not necessarily the most powerful Pokemon in the world, but I have my reasons. Also, one thing I quickly want to do I want to actually quickly go to San Francisco. All right, I want to buy a shiny stone. And you know what? I'm going to buy this pink scarf. It could potentially help us with contest stuff and so on. No real harm there. All right.
Okay, let's go... I want to go to... Fairview. Why do I keep doing this? There we go. Alright. So this brings us to the New View Tunnel. It's in here. Um, there's a bag. Now, it is in order to, to do anything here, you need to, first of all, have a shiny stone in your bag. If you don't have a shiny stone, just go get a shiny stone. It's not that difficult. Uh, you, you can buy one from the department store in San Francisco. You can buy one from Gold Shop and Storybrooke. You, you, you can get a shiny stone. If you, you can also find there's one uh, on the ground somewhere. It's not too difficult to get a shiny stone. Um, aside from that, you have to also have received a car bank from the game corner. If you did not get a car bank from the game corner, you will not be able to do this. But what we can do is then we can just say, all right, this bag is filled with, is this bag filled with jewels? Something started to attack. And this is how we can find Ionsi. <gasps> it's shiny! Wild Dionsi appeared. So yeah, in order to get Dionsi, you need to get a car bank and you need to have a shiny stone. Alright, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna cross chop, I guess. I don't think a crit would kill. Yeah, alright, perfect. Alright, I'm gonna just, you know, I'm just gonna go for the Great Ball now and hope for the best. Let's do this. Alright, come on, Dionysi. Come on. Come on, I believe. I believe. You're gonna stay in this ball. Let's go! So with that, we got ourselves a Dionysi. Dionysi's pink, glimmering body is said to be the loveliest sight in the whole entire world. It can instantly create many diamonds by compressing carbon. The jewel Pokemon, Dionysi. Alright, so I'm gonna call you... All right. So that is how to get Dionysi. Once again, you do need to get a car bank in order to be able to do that. So just keep that in mind. Um, that being said. You know what, let's go to Newtown. Alright, I think I clicked too quickly, it doesn't really matter. Alright. Alright, we're running into something. It's a little squirtle. I just realized we didn't heal up. We should probably go heal up. We're just gonna casually borrow someone's bed. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Okay. There we go. And... At this point, once we've made it through Victory Road, we can actually go to this thing. What could be in this bag? There's something synthetic about it. Something attacked from behind. So now we are able to encounter Type Null. Alright, um... I don't think Rock Slide will kill. Alright, we got the flinch. Perfect. Got another flinch. 
in the red. Let's do it. Let's do this. Come on, type null. Come on. Come on. Let's go. With that, we got type null. Due to the danger that type null may go on a rampage, it wears a control mask to restrain its power. This synthetic Pokemon has uh, some hidden special power. The synthetic Pokemon type null. Alright, so I'm gonna call you... Null. Alright. Let's use our raft. So we can then fly somewhere. Okay, specifically... I'm gonna go here. We have a couple things I don't really need. Um, I'm gonna deposit this now. Deposit this nugget. Deposit this stuff. Honestly, we don't need these milkshakes now. Actually, yeah, we'll... I think we're okay for right now. But what I do want is... We go to Dozy's Market. I just want to buy a figurine. Thank you. Alright. So, you do want a figurine for this. Actually, we probably could just pick one. I think we already did pick it up here. There's one on the ground there if you want a free one. Doesn't make a big difference though. Alright, so we're gonna go to... Oh, yeah. I guess he could have gone to San Francisco instead. Either way, this is the giant maze that I'm sure a lot of you dreaded going through. Well, the short answer is, um, it hides, a, one might say it hides a secret. That we, uh, well, sort of didn't have to worry about when trying to get through. But if you got lost trying to go through the maze, it's very possible that you, uh, may have, uh, realized the secret it held. There we go. Did I just go... into a giant... circle. Awesome. Isn't it great when you go the wrong way? Okay. I do not know this maze backward. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Okay, so at this point... If you notice, there is this little spot right here, and there's a bag hidden right behind this tray. Now, you cannot do this until you have done the stuff in Sunnydale, so if you happen to accidentally end up here, it won't work. You need to have uh, encountered, uh, I mean, you already will have encountered uh, Tornadus at this point, but you'll also need Thunderous. Or was the other way around? You need to have encountered both Tornadus and Thunderous, which is during the story. So by the time you get through Sunnydale, you will have done that. And you also need a figurine in your bag. The bag looks somehow bountiful, something attacked from above. Now, one thing to note, this will not work if you do not have a figurine in your bag. <gasps> Shiny! Wild Landorus appeared. 
If you don't have a figurine in your bag, you cannot encounter Landorus. Alright, you are gonna Earthquake us. I don't want to risk critting. I'm gonna fall slave and just hope for the flinch. We did get the crit, so yeah, I think, and we got the flinch anyway. Okay, beautiful. That legitimately could, that turn could not have gone better. There was literally no way that turn could have gone better. All right, let's great ball. Let's go. Let's go. Landorus, you want to stay in this ball. Come on, come on. You are, you are at one HP. That's what I'm talking about. But that we got ourselves a Landorus. You see, all of that holding on to uh, false swipe really paying off. Lands visited by Landorus grant such bountiful crops that it was hailed the guardian of the fields. The energy that comes pouring from its tail increases the nutrition in the soil, making crops grow to great sizes. The abundance Pokemon, Landorus. All right, I'm gonna call you. Uh, Lando. All right, Lando. Now the fun part. All right, I'm tired of hitting walls. I'm just gonna run. Since we do not have a flyer, we're gonna have to just go out the old-fashioned way. The good thing is we don't really care where we're going. Either side will get us out of here. I recommend carrying something to fly when you do this because, well, makes it a lot easier to get out. Did I just go back the way that I... Yeah, I think... Hold on. Oh, this should get us toward San Francisco. Ah. Here we go. Perfect. Alright, now... I'm gonna go to Chicago. Now, this door is locked. You can't access the Willis Tower until post-game. But, what I am gonna do is... we have a rappel up? Okay. Now, interestingly, the rappel sort of works in this grass. It doesn't always, and there's a, there is a reason for that. Actually, I want to heal up really quickly. So, let's get healed up. Awesome, all right. But the, uh, so when you're running in this grass, there's a very real chance you just run into a random Pokemon. And the repel won't always work for that reason. But if you have the right condi- under the right conditions, something cool can happen. Alright, let's not bother the Swablu. Okay. Alright, Rufflet. There we go. Under the right conditions, you can find Enamorous. It's shiny! Well, that wild Enamorous appeared. 
Dang, all right. Just like the other forces of nature, it's in its Therian form. Oh, we're getting shiny luck today, wow. But, you can only encounter it once, and you need to have the pink scarf in your bag, and you need to have already encountered Landorus. So in order to find an Amorous, you need to have already encountered Landorus, um, the, the encounter on, um, in the middle of that maze, and you need to have a pink scarf in your inventory. But then once you, if you do, there is a chance in this grass you will encounter Enamorous. And don't worry, it won't be affected by a Max Repel, so I recommend using a Max Repel will increase the chances of finding Enamorous in this grass. Because the Max Repel, it doesn't prevent encounters in this grass, but it does lessen the amount you get. So there's little harm in actually, you know, using... It won't get in the way of getting an Amorous, it'll actually make it easier for you. Alright, so let's use a... Use a Great Ball. Let's do it. Alright, come on, Enamorous. Come on. You're at 1 HP. Let's go! Alright, so with that, we got ourselves Enamorous. According to legend, Enamorous' love gives rise to the budding of fresh life across the land. From the clouds, it descends upon those who disrespect anyone with a wrathful, ruthless punishment. The love-hate Pokemon, Enamorous. Alright, so let's call you... Um... I'm gonna call you Love. Weird name for you, but hey. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, that being said... Go to Portland. Nancy will heal us up. Now, we already talked about getting a bunch of things in... in... us... Uh, in, uh, National City. But, what we didn't talk about, is there something we can actually get in, um, we can actually get in Gotham City. So here's Star Labs in Central City. Now, interestingly, after the crisis happened, you can't go to National City in another universe because it's not in another universe. The way to get to National City is actually kind of funny. It's literally right next to Central City. So after you... After the crisis occurs, National City and Central City, Star City, all that stuff becomes one universe. And you can go to Smallville. There's there's a lot of places you can you can kind of explore from here. There's not a whole lot to do in National City though, since we already do have the we already did get the Magma Stone, and we already have the Book of Ral. But we can also go to Star City. Fun fact in Star City, there's all these houses. You can randomly also get sent from here to um, John Constantine's house. How the bloody hell did you find my house? I used the spell to cloak it from the folks just stumbling upon it. Yeah, it's very possible you can accidentally get, you know, run into Constantine's house. Possible. All right. But we also have uh, Gotham City here. Here's Wayne Tower. So, Wayne Tower, I mean, not too much here per se. But, even though Alice is a sociopath who killed countless people, I still have, um, have hope that she can be my sister Beth again. I will not give up on her. Alright, fair enough. But what's more important is on the ground next to Kate Kane is the Plasma Drive. So, the Plasma Drive is kind of helpful because we can use that to get something else. Which is another Pokémon that we're able to get before the postgame. There are a lot, like I said, there's a lot of legendary and mythical Pokémon that you can get before the postgame. 
it's I believe it's more than there have been available in any other game I've made. So, well, any other game in this series, whether that be Grass Jewel, its sequel, uh, Scorching Scarlet, or the first two Polka Aquas. There are a lot of legendary mythical Pokemon you can get before taking on the Pokemon League the first time. So at this point, I'm actually going to head to New York City. So here, we are able to go to this fine man. I've been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils, and it's working. Wait, that thing you have there, that drive reminds me of something I saw someone do to a fossil. Would you mind if I examined it? Sure. Excellent, let's do this right away. So with that, we handed the plasma drive to the Luther Researcher. Now, even if you have a fossil, if you have the plasma drive in your bag, he will... He will be asked about the plasma drive rather than the fossil. Oh, what's that thing behind you? It started to attack. So... The Plasma Drive will, will trigger an encounter with Genesect. Alright. So, Genesect appeared. Um, also, just like with Heatran, technically speaking, if somehow you had a second Plasma Drive, this uh, would trigger again. So, it doesn't really... The game doesn't really save any data that, or any any variable or, um, or flag that you encountered Genesect from it. So, theoretically, if you, if you had another Plasma Drive, you'd be able to encounter another Genesect. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Netball here. Because, you know, we can. <laughs> Alright, come on, Genesect. Let's go! Alright, so with that, we got a Genesect. Genesect existed 300 million years ago, but it was altered and had a cannon attached to its back. The upgraded cannon on its back contains massive power. So, give it a nickname. Um... Sure. I'm gonna call you Gene. I've been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils, and it's working. Wait, that thing you have there, is that a Pokemon fossil? Would you mind- would you like me to bring a Pokemon back to life? I can- with my newly developed fossil regenerator. Excellent, let's do this right away. So we hand- we handed the jaw fossil to the guy. It takes a long time to work, okay. Uh, by long time, all you have to do is reload the screen, so just by leaving and coming back. Your fossilized Pokemon's been brought back to life. The fossil was an ancient Pokemon tyrant. Now, unfortunate drawback here is you do need to make space for the Pokemon. Now, we could have gotten this Tyrant a long time ago. Basically, as soon as we made it, as soon as we got to the desert, we could have done this. Alright, um... Who I'm gonna deposit you. Come to think of it, we have other options than who. I mean, Yuxi is admittedly a decent Pokemon, don't get me wrong, but we have options. Alright, thanks for waiting. Here is our Pokemon. We received a Tyrant from the Luther Researcher. Okay, so let's call you... Um... Um... Uh, You become a Tyrannosaurus Rex, you're like a king. Alright. So with that, we received our Tyrant. It's got Ancient Power and Ancient Punch. They're basically the same move, except Ancient Power is special, Ancient Punch is physical. It's also got Draco Kick. This thing is actually pretty good. Alright, there's one other... Um, well, obviously we could have gone for the... Um, we could have gone... Or Amora instead of Tyrant. But that's okay.
You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna move Genesect from here. I don't really think I'm gonna be using Genesect. It does have a decent moveset, don't get me wrong, but it's got Payday and on Payday. Uh, we could potentially use Rory. I don't mind the idea of using an Azuril. On the other hand, Freeze could be really good. Easty with huge power. Like, th this is this is what power looks like. We could also go Love with, um... Moonblast and Aeroblast, both stab. And then Ancient Power can get boosts. Like, this is... This is good. I mean, I'm gonna keep who won the team for right now, but... It's good to know we've got options. Alright. I'll put, uh, Lana here. Always nice to have options, I suppose. All right. Now there is something else that we can do with Luther Corp, but I'm gonna hold off on that for right this second. What I do want to see is we can go to Philadelphia, back into uh, Professor Palm's house. Now in his house. He just casually has a Mew, you know. Nothing, nothing weird about that. He's got a Shaman. There's nothing weird about having all that stuff. He also has his lab. His lab has an Azuril that follows you because, of course, it does. Of course, his, uh, his lab has an Azuril that follows you. Why wouldn't it? Um... But, you know what, I actually want to heal up really quickly. There's a Chansey downstairs, but I'm just going to borrow his bed. I'm sure he won't mind. Let's do this. Wonder what this machine does. Sparks are flying all over the place. Something attacked from behind. So with that... <gasps> we are getting shinies today! Oh my goodness. Zeriora appeared. Now I will note this regarding shiny stuff. Static encounters do actually have higher shiny rates than random wild Pokemon. Um... They, it depends on the Pokemon. Some of them have, some of them it's 1 in 30, some of them it's 1 in 10, some of them it's 1 in 5, some of them it's like 1 in 3, so it really depends on the Pokemon. Um, some of them are really getting lucky with, some of them do have high shiny odds to begin with. Alright, so for Zeriora, I'm gonna go for the false swipe here. It is neutral because it is part fighting in this game. All right, you're gonna pixie kick. That's that's gonna hurt. That's actually gonna hurt. Now, honestly, I don't. I wouldn't mind using his Ariora. Not gonna lie. That would not be bad. Okay. Don't so fall slave you. You're gonna flinch. Awesome. Okay, let's go for... Go for the Great Ball. Let's do this. Come on, Zariora. Come on. Come on, you're in the red zone. Let's go! With that, we got Zariora. 
Zeriora electrifies its claws and tears its opponents apart with them. Flying sparks electrocute them. It approaches its enemies at the speed of lightning to use its sharp claws. The Thunderclap Pokemon, Zeriora. Alright, so... I'm gonna call you Clap. Alright. Because you face something, it's getting clapped. Alright. The book that's hard to read. You know, let's actually take a look at the, uh... Let's take a look at this area where... So it's got a hardy nature. A dynamic punch in Zap Cannon. It does not want to land hits. Wow, okay. But that is really cool. So we we legitimately do have options uh, for our team. Hmm. I guess we'll see. We have a decision to make. Certainly do have a decision. Uh, that being said... Let's go back to New York. I want to heal up. Alright. I want to go into this PC. We no longer need the pink scarf for the figurine, so I'm just going to deposit them. We don't really need the radio stone, but whatever. Alright. So there is something else at Luther Corp that I want to take a look at. Uh, and we're gonna find so we're go we're gonna go look for some more legendary Pokemon as well next time. So thank you for watching as always. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we continue our adventure looking for legendary and mythical Pokemon here in Pokemon Polka Aqua 3. Goodbye. <laughs>